And we had a lot of changes last year with the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So right about a year ago now, we had all new laws that the IRS had to implement and that we had to help taxpayers understand what that was going to mean to them and their businesses. So some of those changes are still being felt this year. But something that's interesting that the IRS did this year, not necessarily in response to any legislation, but what they do each year is they look at the new rules and they look at the forms that are required, that taxpayers are required to fill out to comply with those rules, and they consider making different changes. And they made some substantial changes to the partnership returns this year that are going to have a big effect on how we prepare partnership returns and the information that the owners of those businesses are going to need to have so we can prepare those returns. Yeah, what people really should know about now uh, is their basis in their partnership interest. And that's something that they may assume that's being kept or tracked by whoever's taking care of the books for the partnership, but that's not always necessarily the case. So if you don't know what your basis is in your partnership interest, the, the preparer of your tax return or your accountant might not either. And, and that's something that for the very first time, the IRS is now requiring that with that partnership return, the partner's basis, which is essentially their investment in that partnership, it tracks their investment of capital, their economic investment in that partnership. That's required to be reported with the partnership return starting in 2019. I think this is a great time for the accountants to start looking at that information and for any any taxpayer, any anybody in business who runs their uh, business through a partnership, they should be talking to their accountant about whether or not they have the information that they're going to need so they can comply with these uh, new reporting requirements for 2019.